What aspect of this case runs contrary to the new evidence? Um. Credibility of the video? What? No, 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 okay, okay. Uh, Kaito's cause of death? That's it. Okay, that's what I thought. Kaito's cause of death. What? Yeah. If the electro bomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote, maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. Interesting. Yes, the cause of death could now be the hydraulic press, right? This is it. Oh my gosh. The hydraulic press. Kaito could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have? Oh no. If the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito while he was still alive. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So, Kaito should have still been alive. Yeah. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. This is so confusing. If that's the case, it'd mean the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. It'd be whoever pressed the button. It'd be whoever was operating the hydraulic press. Kukichi. Are we sure it was Kukichi? I see. Very impressive. The hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. But that's just a possibility. Yeah. What do you mean? It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Oh, boy. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. So it's still that 50-50. Both causes are possible, but you'll never be able to determine it. No matter what. Because he's not going to tell us anything. No matter what? That's not true. We can probably solve this mystery, too. Right, Shuichi? Oh, boy. Is it really possible to determine Kaito's actual cause of death? It has to be. No, there's no evidence that determines the cause of death, absolutely. Oh, uh, really? Really? So we have to just go with our gut? Be a Kane? I hate to admit it, but Kokichi is right. We have no way to prove the cause of death. What did you say? You can't check the body. And you don't have any conclusive evidence. Yeah. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. But I know. Because I was actually involved. Oh, gee, shut up. So that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> do you finally get it? Yep, that was my plan. The gimmick of this murder case isn't the unknown victim. Gimmick. But rather the unknowable culprit. Yeah, I no sort of one figured. No understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition. Intuition. Me? <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. So, who is the culprit? Maki or me? I don't like this. The heart racing excitement as the black really? and the spotless face off. It's voting time. No, it's not. Stop. Okay, it is. Um, um, I wasn't prepared for this. Oh, it still has Kaito on here. Freaking. It has to, it has to be Kokichi. It has to be. I refuse to believe that it's my. I'm voting Kokichi. Oh, boy. Oh, no. That's my line! 
<laughs> the one who decides when it's voting time. <laughs> Monokuma. Oh, come on. No one's going to figure out the truth. Let's just vote already. This won't be a problem, right, Monokuma? Because you know who the culprit is, don't you? Just like you always do. Does he not know the culprit? Huh? Uh, uh, yes! <gasps> he doesn't know the culprit! What kind of a reaction is What? That? The, the, the culprit, you say? Uh, uh, yes! Uh, of course I know! Excuse me? Hmm? Why do you seem so flustered? Uh, flustered? Me? <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, can we vote Monokuma? What's going on with Monokuma right now? Monokuma? Do you not know who the culprit is either? Huh? Oh, what do you mean I don't know? Uh, what don't I know, huh? You don't know, do you? What does this mean? Why doesn't Monokuma know who the culprit is? This is interesting. Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is either. If Monokuma doesn't know, what does that tell us about this case? That this case is freaking dumb. <laughs> Wait, this case? Yes, that's it. So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Huh? What are you talking about? To corner Monokuma. Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. A murder Monokuma couldn't figure out? Interesting. What's the point of that? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. Because Kokichi... No, he's not. But consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific details of each crime, correct? That must mean that he was using some way of monitoring us. Uh-huh. Perhaps there are hidden cameras strategically placed to avoid our detection. I can't say for certain, but he must be keeping watch somehow. The mastermind is with us. Kokichi probably used the Electrobomb to scramble whatever that was. The Electrobomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Which means it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Uh-huh. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Before we determine that for sure, I want to make one thing clear. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the Exosols. Yes, the Exosols weren't protecting Monokuma. They were. What were they doing? Oh my gosh. Watching him? Oh my gosh! That's it! They were watching Monokuma. Watching him? Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? Oh, at the time, the Exocells were on autopilot and direct directed to only observe me. If they were protecting him like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. Yeah. They would have been scanning the area, watching us. But they weren't. That implies that they weren't watching us. They were watching him. Yeah, it makes sense now. They were trying to make sure that Monokuma wouldn't go near the crime scene. That's interesting. That Before I stole an Exosol, all four units were focused on Monokuma. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. So Monokuma must have been talking about Maki. Even if it puts someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So, you share it instead. That way, it'll be fair to all participants. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. Uh-huh. In which case, it could only be Maki. You're right. Um, so, to summarize this discussion... <laughs> Me too, Kibo. Kokichi used the electro bomb in the hangar and the Exosols to watch Monokuma. 
thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is? Which is crazy. I told you there's no point! Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! We don't know that. No. Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. What? Maybe you are! But Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monokuma? Kokichi might not be the mastermind. Yeah. What? Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. And he is notorious for lying. Kuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. I don't believe you. The one who pitted humanity's last survivors against each other is... All me, baby. That's right. He's a remnant of despair. How do we forget that? But that doesn't necessarily mean that he's the mastermind. Um, well, I guess. But is that really possible? I think so. Well, Monokuma? Show yourself! I can't answer that without causing problems! Cause I've gotta run this trial fair and square! Even more reason to give us the answer. Yeah. If you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. Ooh. Does that sound like a fair game? Would you say this class trial is fair? It's not at all. Yeah, tell us! Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? No need to think about it. You're being way too forward, you know. Aren't you normally the forward one? Oh? Ah. I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. What? Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. What is happening? What is that truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi, because he is not the mastermind. And that's what I thought the whole entire time. Hey, me Kokichi seem flustered by that. Is that really true? Kokichi was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. Then it was all Kokichi's lie? Yes, because he lies, yes, guys. That is what that would mean. With the key from the last motive, he was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. I see. Kokichi's own deductions. Yes. Do you want to know? Then I'll tell you. I'm getting kind of bored with all the lying, so everything I say now will be truth, okay? His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. Yeah. But what about the Exosol? If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how'd he control them so easily? He just used Mew's remote control, right? Mew's? Mew's remote control? So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Why is she still being brought up? You didn't know? She made them? Mew not only invented the Electro She bomb made the, the Exocells. Oh my gosh. She also made a remote control oh, okay. that can hijack any electronic device. I guess that too, but still. Kokichi just slapped a receiver on each of the Exosols and took them for a spin. Hey, isn't it a bit unfair to tell them all that? <laughs> Fairness has nothing to do with it. I offered up that info purely out of spite. Spike towards you for trying to usurp the mastermind's role and take over the game. Jeez. Well, whatever. It's way more interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? 
It seems like they're actually fighting. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the mastermind. So I wonder who is. Just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? Yeah, because that's how Kokichi does stuff. What were you trying stuff. to by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? I don't know. Now you're gonna be all Probably quiet? just bored. This is so frustrating. Then if he's not the mastermind, who is? Why are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? There's got to be somebody controlling you. What? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know. But I wanna know! <laughs> Me too, Himiko. The real mastermind is not Kokichi. Who could it be? I was thinking it was Junko and Ishima, but that can't be it. She's dead. We've never come into contact with her. Well, that's what I thought with the second game, too, but you know what? Uh, if so, who's done this? Who planned this killing game? Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on track. So, uh... Who's the culprit? This class trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. So, yeah, get to talking! But if you don't even know... I agree. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is, let's figure out the culprit! How? But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision making to Monokuma. I think we do need to worry about that. But you gotta run the class trial too. So no mistakes, okay? Are you trying to get me to do something? You've been watching us solve all these cases. But you can't be a spectator anymore. What? You're going to participate in the class trial from here What? Excuse me? So, let's resume this class trial. Monokuma, you got to use your brain, too. Oh this my will be gosh. This final class trial. Me versus Monokuma. Shut up. You versus Monokuma? When I play a game, I intend to win. This is crazy. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind is the true victory. And that's how I'll win! That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma! If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner! You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? As I suspected, your thought process defies all logic. Yes. But since the outside world is in total ruin, this game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. You really are a remnant of despair. Your way of thinking is just chaos. So is he actually a remnant of despair, or is that a lie too? Remnant of despair? Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. If the students or Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner! Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others, for that matter! This is weird. What? <laughs> it's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game. But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. If you think they're going to make this easy for you, you better think again. This is so weird. I'm confused. <laughs> what what is happening? Isn't it obvious? No, it's not. Monokuma joins your party. Hmm. I don't like that. Oh. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> really? Now? <laughs> now. Let's oh my forces and gosh. unravel the truth behind this case. Well, we were going to do it anyway. I don't like this. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. With you, Kibo. Yeah! Let's just focus on the case! Hey, be quiet so we can ignore you. 
Oh boy. Now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? In <laughs> my experience, whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it. Really? Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. So another truth comes out. That piece of evidence makes more sense now. The evidence that I couldn't wrap my head around. Um, oh boy. If Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is, what evidence needs to be analyzed again? Uh... Oh... Uh. Kokichi's disappearance? No. Then... Ugh. The shutter? No. What doesn't he know about? That's what I'm not understanding. The press? We already talked about that a bunch. I don't know. Uh... The electro bomb? Video. This is oh, okay. it. Let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic. Press. I don't want to discuss that video. Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim. But we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma. So what about the video? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic oh. press, so the cause of death would be unknown? But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. Yeah. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. True. I guess you're starting to fit in after all. If you get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Himiko, don't do it. Don't do it, Himiko. Stop. Huh? Really? There must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. Oh, you all my sort of would believe that. You're lying again, Kikichi. There's a method to your madness. If you wanted Monokuma to make a mistake, then showing then showing us the video must have something to do with trying to fool Monokuma. Taking the video of the murder, but keeping the victim's identity hidden. What does it show? What doesn't it show? Oh boy. Um. What can't be identified even after watching the dead body footage. What? Is it... Oh, I thought that was an eye. Is it really? Victim? What? I see now. I'm a little confused. Victim. Huh? Is it even possible? No, that's a question for later. For now, we know that. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Yeah. Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. Uh huh? And that might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? What is... What? Switched? Then it was some other dead body that got crushed?
crushed by the hydraulic press? Oh my gosh, stop this. What? Where would he even get another oh body? Oh my gosh. There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. Oh. If there was an unknown body, then we could guess the victim was switched. <laughs> but too bad. Switching the victims was impossible. The footage showed the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? When? And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Remember? Damn it! Me and my big mouth! Boy. Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. Oh no, don't go back to Kaito. Huh? We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Huh? Really? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Oh, and what trick is that? See, you don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. What is happening? So we can't just give up here. I feel like I've literally learned nothing in this case so hey, far. Shuichi, I'll think harder about this as well. So, can you confirm whether or not the victim switch places? If Kaito is... alive or not? Maki... I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't... want that. Okay then, let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. Oh boy. Himiko, if you call her that again... Yes, please. Oh, Aww. Uh, okay. let's all talk it over together. Together. Don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. Yeah. Friendship. I'm sure we'll figure something out. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. Oh my gosh. However, if the victims were switched. Then that would mean the footage was altered. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? If we could figure that out, maybe we'd know how they switched places. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. Okichi made it, so it's 100% suspicious. Trick to that video. Hmm. It be? What's suspicious about it? Oh my gosh. There must be some trick to that video. This is so confusing, I don't like this. I don't like how he's in this now. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. Editing function. That camera seems suspicious to any of you? The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? A little bit. The person in that video... Was it really Kaito? Something seemed off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press stopped for a brief moment. Yeah. Could it be? A video shot... With the camera from the Exocell. From the Exocell. It shows the moment Kaito was crushed by the hydraulic press. Interesting. The video was shot at another location. Any other bright ideas? I doubt it. Come on, everybody, speak up! Gee, it making me think about case three from the second game. I feel like someone said something that gives us a clue. If we put our heads together, we can find hope. We won't fall into despair. There must be some trick to that video. That's what you all gotta figure out. Hmm. There is no trick. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. 
Did the placement of that camera seem suspicious to any of you? The filming angle seemed. Okay, it's not that. Uh. Functioning that camera. Did the placement of that camera? The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? The person in that video. Uh. Something seems off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press stopped for a brief moment. Could it be that the video was shot? Wait, 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 wait. The hydraulic press's controls are a short distance. Huh. It could be this. Okay, because the camera was apparently on top of an exosol. The hydraulic press, you'd need to be at the control panel. So that means the camera was left there. Um. Uh, what else do we have? Kaito's coat. When the body was discovered, only the left sleeve was sticking. Okay. We've used that a whole bunch of times. Um. Hey, Interesting. Hangers front shutter. Uh, I don't know. Come on, everybody, speak up! I feel like we've talked about something, like all of these things, way too much. That's what you all gotta out. There is no trick. You attack, but there's no editing function in that camera. Did the placement of that yeah. camera seem suspicious to any of you? The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? Uh. The person in that video... Was it really Kaito? Something seemed off of that video to me. When the hydraulic press stopped... Yes, okay. I agree. I... It's just like... I feel like we've used these bullets so much. Kibo is on to something. Isn't it weird that the hydraulic press stopped for a second? Uh-huh. Because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press... It didn't stop. That's right. I completely forgot. Yes, that's right. The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. But in the video... He must have still been alive. That's why it went up. Oh my gosh. The hydraulic press stopped briefly right before it crushed the body. But why would it stop? Cuz it detected a freaking living being. Really? This thing um I hate this thing actually. Like I don't like it at all. Ew. Uh I don't know what these things are. What is that? Oh, that's what I need. Yeah. There you go. I see it. The only way to stop the hydraulic press is the four stop button. Yeah. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the four stop button. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Mm, I don't know. Hmm, actually, maybe I pressed it by accident. 
I don't really remember. Yeah, it seems pretty convenient. So what of it? The press only stopped for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? That's true. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. That would have clearly been caught on camera. Would it? While the camera was rolling. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. Huh? Huh? What do you mean? If you stop something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Yes, I see it now. That's how the bodies were switched. If you stop that, you could have swapped the bodies easily. Oh my, another one? We just had one. Pace your game better. Uh, what's the question? To switch the bodies, what was stopped with the hydraulic press? Wait, what? What else was stopped with the hydraulic press? Oh, uh, the camera, I would assume. Uh Yeah. I see it. It only stopped for a sec. The culprit stopped the video camera at the same time as the hydraulic press. Yeah. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. This is crazy. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. What's more crazy, this trial or freaking Nagito's trial? So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. That's what I've been saying this whole time! Hmm. When did you ever say that? So they stopped at the same time. The camera position did seem odd to me. But now I get it. The trick wouldn't work unless it was set up there. Huh? Why? To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. Let's pin that down. Where was the camera set up? On the Exosol. Over here, right? No? It said that the camera was on the Exosol. Am I not... Is, is that not wrong or right or whatever? There. But now making sense. The video camera must have been set up somewhere around here. Um. I saw the one of the the, the sec one. Um, and also maybe yeah. To operate the press and the camera at the same time. You would have to be near the switch. Switch. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. <laughs> she if keeps they going in there. Recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. But they needed to stop it and press the button at the same time. If I see. It was recorded at such an odd angle, and that proves the trick was used. Camera. But why? Looks like your cosplayer experience is finally useful. Wait, what? Well, cosplay doesn't really come up all that much in class trials. There was a reason the camera was set up there, but also a reason for the height. What did Mikey say? When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? Yeah. That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. I wonder if they used that tripod in the hangar to adjust the camera's height. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket. So much stuff in the warehouse. You don't get to make that reference. Wait, that was a reference to something? Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick, 
and switch the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Or he was crushed by the press and swapped <laughs> with a different body! Oh my gosh. So Kaito's still alive! Mimiko's freaking well, cutting. Wait just a minute. We still don't know anything! What? This is all but just assumptions! You just stole what Maki said, what? Himiko, the different body you mentioned, what are you talking about? What? The bodies from the other cases. Kokichi's the mastermind, so he... Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so... I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. So... What? Wait... Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? I mean... Very well! I'll answer that! <laughs> the first game it was. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. <laughs> I'm the mastermind. That is impossible! All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Thrown away. That's not very nice. Thrown away? Are we sure that they're thrown away? I don't know. There's still some rooms that we haven't gone into. The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? Kokichi. Kokichi and Kaito were the only ones in the hangar at the time. If they were the only ones present during the body swapping trip, then the real victim was... <sighs> what is this? If it wasn't an old body, it could only be... What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaido switch places with? He switched places with you, Maki. Maki. <laughs> something very important here. Something important? If I have the timeline right, there were only two people in the hangar at the time. Which means that something had to have been decided before. I have to pin that down. Can't let anything escape me this time. Oh my gosh! How were the bodies swapped if only two people were in the hangar? Um. Uh. <laughs> I don't know, so let's just. Nope. Um. Let's see. No. No. B. Okay. Okay. We got something. V. I. Victim. Again. Okay, what is the second word? Oh, that's an H, okay. Um, <gasps> the victim helped. What is happening? <laughs> Honestly, I hate Hangman's Gambit. This, what do you mean? The victim was there the were accomplice. Only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped. Which means they were working together. What? Huh? Working together? The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press while the victim lay inside. What is happening? If they switched places while the press and the camera were stopped, 
then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. What's it simply? Both people operated the press and camera at different times. An impossible trick, unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. Oh my gosh, I want to freaking nap. Is that even possible? It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez. This culprit's a real jerk. Yeah. So, have you realized who done it yet? No. <laughs> the culprit of this case. My detective work hasn't failed me. The culprit is inside that exosol. It can only be them. Is it Kaito? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna pick him. Why not? How? Oh my god. The first saw in the video was Kaito, which means. This doesn't make sense. Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera at first. If the two of them switched while the press was stopped. Oh my gosh. The culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi. Is Leon. Isn't that right? Leon! So, the person inside that exosol isn't Kokichi. It's Kaito, it apparently. Kaito. What did you say? Oh, who knows anymore? So, the culprit for this case is Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? When Monokuma's relying on me. Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. I don't want to believe it either. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. Oh my gosh. Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? Kaito's the mastermind. Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then... I'm the culprit. What? 